LiveHipHopDaily.tv. We back. We live in the Boom Boom Room. That was the Boom Room Room juice. Yeah, Ooh. it was. Ooh. That thing was strong, man. Listen, yeah, I've been on it. Yeah, he's been on it too. He had a little bit of that. He had a little bit of that Boom Boom Room juice too. You did. All right, now tell tell the people who you are. My name is Dre Poe. Okay. I'm a hip hop artist from Westchester, Pennsylvania, down here in the A, loving life. Working hard, you know. So you from Pennsylvania? I used to live in East Stroudsburg. Oh, word. Yeah, straight you up. Went to, uh, college up there? I didn't go to no college. I was up there <laughs> r- tumbling in the grass. It was this was before it was snow. I used to live in the Poconos, and I I lived in East oh, Stroudsburg. Right. Yeah, I mean, I love home. I don't miss it though. I know I don't miss it. It's too. It's they nothing. got real seasons. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I ain't trying to go back. <laughs> it's still forty degrees. Exactly. Up there. That's what I'm saying. They got seasons, but I'm, I'm not cool. trying to go back over there. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, I love mm-hmm. it, but I'm here though. Okay. Okay. How long have you been in Atlanta? Maybe like a year and a half, two years, off and on. I just came back from living in Miami. Yeah, um, the still pretty, uh, yeah. the accent's still pretty heavy. Yeah, and I needed to stay that way, too, because I'm not from here. Yeah, like and people going to know that. People going to know that. It actually helps me out, though. It exactly. helps me stand out a little bit. Out. Oh, yeah? I pronunciate my words and shit like oh, that. Oh, they don't understand mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? You come down like, you're trying to guess what books. they're saying. Right. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Exactly. Bro, you got to put the subtitle I'm like, at the bottom. Bro, I love you to death. I just don't know what the fuck you said. <laughs> you got to help me. Exactly. Exactly. So now tell. Oh, now you're an artist. Yes, I am. Rapper. Yes, I am. Songwriter. Yes, I am. You Painting do pictures. This. I do this for real. Okay. So that's a <laughs> I've been doing this for a, for a nice little while. Man. Okay. Okay. How long you been doing it? Um, I wrote my first record when I was eight years old. Oh my god. Um, I got eighteen hundred something songs recorded. Wow. You who's think me? Who's thinking about records at eight? At eight years old. My mom encouraged it. She did. Yeah. Shout out to mom. Shout, shout out to, to mom and Dre Poe. I, w- I was just crazy as hell. So she was. I was like, mom, I think I'd like to put words together. She was like, nigga, do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot nigga, of parents, would, a lot of parents like, you, do. you right. go to rap, you better go to school, you better do this. They, they kind of like push in the passion yeah. and what your, your dream is. So and it was crazy because my mom's an educator. Like she has a PhD. She teaches, she taught middle school, Congratulations, high school, like strong black woman. So, like I was just opposite. I said, Mom. I am all with it. Model, yeah, yeah, you do. Sure. You have a different girl. Sure. Because she's my persistent. My mom probably it. Shout out to you, Mama. Mama Dre, girl. You should have got that show. She's, she lives in Florida, man. She down there living that life, man. She got Dang. lakes and alligators She's on the in her beach backyard. and everything Chill. where Chill. I'm trying to be. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to drop the mic and go. <laughs> Mama Poe. <laughs> yeah, I need to go down there one time, man. You're uh, welcome, man. She be cooking and all that shit. Man, she nice. What should be cooking? Don't be, cooking. Don't be man, telling me because you lie. We'll be there. She's from Greensboro, North Carolina. So, you know, all that. All that soul food. Yeah. She got it down. I watch oh, myself, man. nigga. Oh, man. Back. I'm going to need that cornbread, no, though. Hit some noise in your trunk. Yeah, <laughs> her ass going to be in the damn <laughs> trunk. Me and Aunt Too Young. We're going to be holding hands. Like, huh? We gonna She's a sweetheart, though, man. Shout out to my mama. Good, good, good. Are you an only child? Yeah. Well, See, it's like a two-part thing. Okay. Okay. I'm my mama's only child. Okay. That okay. was out here slinging dick. Papa was a rolling stone, hey. Yeah. Wherever he laid his yeah. hat yeah. for the own way. Shout out to Pops, man. You yeah. Know yeah. He did his thing. Yeah, wild boy, man. Yeah, okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, but my little sister, she graduates high school next month. I'm very proud of her. Oh, yeah. She's a, or, she's a, um, she's a youth minister. Okay. Like, she's everything I'm not. Okay. So I love so her. So she's the total opposite of you. It balances everything. Hey, it does. Everything. It balances everything. It balances like, everything. you. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making me? <laughs> what, what, what type of music is this? You're cursing. Yeah, see, that's how my sister is. Like, yeah. We're just in two totally different places. Right. Don't like judge me. Too. So yeah. we're all in the same same. Yeah. My sister's she's like. From high school, too. My sister's like. You know I don't support anything that's uh, ungodly. Of the <laughs> right. I'm like, well, I'm like, you might as well walk out today. Because <laughs> I am everything. I'll be lighting up. I'll be like, damn, I got forget. <laughs> <laughs> be, she be like, why do you smell like that? I'm like, you know why. You smell like pine trees. <laughs> you know why. <laughs> nah, but she, she's dope. She got like 4.0. She's graduating a year ahead of her, cl- uh, her usual class. Oh, she's class. awesome. That's what's up. Congratulations, yeah, Sister Poe. Mm-hmm. Got Mama Poe, Sister. Yeah. Y'all just an awesome family. <laughs> I just want to come live with y'all. <laughs> Damn, yeah, we're gonna have some good breakfast because you know exactly if you if you grew up in a in a household where it's the southern household yeah. and then they oh man I don't eat beef or pork yeah but I could just smell the Ooh. breakfast and enjoy the smell of the breakfast. Another thing, breakfast is my favorite favorite meal today. We okay. have a caller. We have a, a we have a, a caller, so we have a person to, calling in live. Let's yeah. see who this let's see who this is. Put it on speakerphone. All right. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are live on the Boom Room. 
Hi, my name is Tanya Brown, and I'm calling in to give my shout out. To <laughs> I'll give you a shout out, girl. Hey, hey, shout my, out. That my sister. That my sister. What's up, though? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was just calling to let you know, bro, that I am super duper proud of you. Thank you I so want much. You to stay humble. I want you to stay on your grind. I want you to appreciate your struggle because when you make it, bro, you are gonna be blessed. Hey, thank and you, sis. We'll always be here for you. Okay. Oh, man. Thank you, sister. You know Paul how for much that, you know how much that means to me, sis, man, for real. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I also want to I also want to shout out my I also want to shout out my sister, beautiful Lane. You know your man. Hey. You know been my. Been my, been my best friend forever, my BFF, and I'm just so proud of y'all. And I just, you know, I know I don't make it out a lot to see, you know, to show my support, but you know. That's okay. That's why I be you. on your ass when you come to your crib. You better cook something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got finished cooking. I made some. I just got finished cooking. I made fried chicken, some dirty rice, some um, straight. Yeah, so girl, we on the way. Oh, Hold on, where she live at? We get a privacy down here. We on the way. We got to use the GPS to <laughs> come over there. <laughs> so listen, I mean, hopefully, hopefully one day I can share my love with the, you know, with, with you guys, you know, and yeah. show you my little expertise and stuff. You but know? you, well, you know, we're gonna do that thing, you know, with my with my radio show and all that, man. I'm supposed to have these lovely ladies up there. Out here because the talent is definitely there and the food is fucking popping. You already know. I know that's right. I know that's right. And I ain't gonna keep you too long. And I did want to make a comment too about the about the kid getting hung with the rope. And I'm, I agree with the lady with both of the ladies on the couch. Guess what? If that was my kid, wouldn't be on this show right now. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, sis. Well, oh, maybe I would be on the news. I would be on the news, so I guess I would be on TV. But uh, <laughs> yeah. wild, she right is live. <laughs> yeah, it is. Definitely. Hey, well, we do appreciate you calling into the show, sis, and showing us love. You are always welcome to come through to the Boom Boom Room and rock out with the Okay, little, turn the up. Boom Boom Girls. <laughs> All right. Love you, sis. All right, love y'all guys. Y'all be safe. I'm still watching. Wine. All right. So we have our first guest yes. calling in for the show. Definitely. Definitely show us love. That is great family love right there, man. I always preach good vibes all the time. Yeah. The other day I was driving to work. Now I was speeding to work. And God sent me a careful. sign. <clears throat> God sent, I already got a ticket. God sent me a sign. <laughs> he sent that ticket first. Yeah. Then he sent, uh, I swear to you, I always say good vibes. Do you know a pickup truck with the, uh, with the uh, spare wheel in the back had writing that said good vibes? I said to myself, I said, no, it couldn't get no clear. What God was trying to tell me that day, I was like, you know what? This the signs be I'm everywhere. Just it do be no everywhere. Today, just good vibes. It do be everywhere. But the signs be everywhere. It's just up to people to realize what the signs are. Exactly. Right? Because like people that. ask for the signs, but when they get the real deal, they refuse to believe in the ignore. They're like, nope. Exactly. Not, not for me. God. Nope. Next time. And I do want to get into you working with John Legend. Yeah. Hold up. We're just John ordinary people. people. <laughs> people know. I love yeah, I'm just going to say this. <laughs> We're just ordinary people. All right, and we love you, John. Hey, we John, do. Thank you for dying, no man. Because no, we don't know what you're going to do. Bro. Exactly. Wait a minute. So how did you even land this opportunity to, to experience all this? You've been up for a lot of artists, though. Yeah. It's crazy. Put us on, man. Who you, by the way, hold on. He the plug. We got to call y'all. We got to be back, y'all. <laughs> we got to make some moves. <laughs> we got to make some shit happen, okay? Definitely. No, but for real, though, how did this experience even come about like um, well i'm one of them type of people i was a i was a really good basketball player coming up in high school man i had a lot of division one scholarship offers but my heart just wasn't in it okay so i told my mom one day i said you know what i'm gonna do what i love to do and that was music and i mean i was literally on the streets like literally sleeping oh, on bitch. jesus we we have a, another caller y'all all right okay, go ahead Let's keep see who going. This sleeping on is. benches you know all that shit and um yeah I just took my opportunities. I wanted to, be, like, the biggest thing is, is just building relationships. So okay. I went up to a studio. I saw the dudes were in there that uh -huh. knew John, and I just came at him like, dog, I'm nice. Fuck. And he did it. Yeah. He put you on. Yeah, I mean, it was a process, up. but we got it done. That's, all, right. and that's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, a million phone calls a day. Yo. I see Yo. a million people calling for you already. We, we have we a got? second we caller. We a second live caller. Calling in to the show live. Let, let, let's see who this is. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. It's me. Hello. Yo. This is the Boom Boom Room. We're calling live into the Boom Boom Room. Who are we speaking with? Tony. You said Cody. Yeah. You in the woods? Get out the woods. <laughs> What's going on, Cody? Huh? Good. 
Well, well, what? Well, what's Who are you calling for, uh, Bobby? Question, Cody. What you call in to tell us? Bobby, Cody, Nikki, Ricky. Right. Okay, so apparently Cody is far off in the woods. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yes. So we're gonna go back live all right. on Facebook, but it's all good. And You're also, welcome to call back. Yeah. So you guys just heard it. Open up for line. John Legend. No, no, no. I, I got a song with John Legend. He has a song yeah, with John opened Legend. Up for, opened up for a lot of other people. I'm sorry. Yeah, now you're good. But definitely work with John Legend. Ooh, yeah. Lord, have mercy. She just gave me chills. Listen, <laughs> we want to get into the topic question. Okay, we can yeah. do that. We want to get into the topic question because Miss Sue Young. Y'all got to let me rap while I'm up here, too. Oh, I got to yeah. show y'all what I got. Oh, let yeah. you rap. You was going to rap anyways. We're talking about we got to let you rap. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sue Young. I know, crazy. Hit him with that type so of let question. Me, let me, now, I'm just, now the boom, 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 we keep it real. Let me make sure my mic turned all the way up because I want everybody to hear me. <clears throat> now, we are in 2016. Yes. We have no time for the baloney. None. You cut straight to the chase and keep it real. Yeah. Now, are you in a relationship right now? Yeah. Okay, so you're in a relationship. So the topic question that I had, if you're in a relationship with someone, and you're not sexually satisfied with what your spouse is giving you. How do you fix that? Communication. Now, so you talk about, so you talk, you're willing to be able to say, hey, you're willing to be honest. Yeah. You got okay, to. so now, what do you say to her? You say, baby, listen, I know that your lips, it'd be a little crusty sometimes. But I'm going to need you to go down just a little bit more. I need you to. So you can ask this and don't ever call me advice. She'll be so like, listen, your lips are crusty, my nigga. I don't want to do this anymore. You're scratching up the box. I don't really. I mean, you're really hurting me down there. I just really need you to work on them lips, though. What's next? Burst bees. No, no, no. How would you do that? Would you say, oh, you look so nice when your lips are glossed so that way she can gloss it? Yeah. Nah. Because there's always a way to how you say things. No. Or, or or don't say nothing at all and just get a hint like bruh. Sandpaper. Blistex. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious though. Like all you gotta do is kinda like I mean if you've been in a relationship with somebody long enough, you know what I'm saying? They kinda know like the little signs and stuff right. like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You just gotta every relationship is a little bit different, but you just gotta play towards that and just have open communication at the end of the day. Do you believe fun? communication works for her? um all the time? No. No, but you have to choose who you wanna be in a relationship with and if 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 the, the person is, if, if, if they're worth having the communication with. Right. Sometimes you might need to be like, you know what? I'm about to go fuck bitches. So let me, let me spice it up a little bit now. What if you tell your spouse that and then they say, well, okay, for example, if you say, oh, you know, I, I, I need you to give me some head, of course. You shouldn't have to ask for it, of course. But they say, well, you take too long to bust a nut. So I get tired. Then what? <laughs> That's how you gonna look at her like really? Like you take too long to bust. So we talking about me taking yeah, too long to bust. You take too long to bust enough. So that's why they don't like to give oral sex. Oh man, we're gonna have to work something out. I mean, <laughs> like I now would it be wrong if you only got head from somebody else, but you wasn't sleeping with them? It depends. I mean, on, but if you're like, in a relationship, you? if you're in a relationship though, it, it can it can actually happen. Yeah, you can go get head from somebody else, but if you're in a relationship with somebody, they gotta know that. Yeah. A lot of people are just pussy. Like, they'd be scared to say what's actually on their yeah, mind. Like, right. You know what I mean? Exactly. you'd be surprised what a lot of girls will go for just because you're honest. Right. right. That's true. You know I mean? And That's a, lot, true. a lot of people lack the confidence just to uh -huh. be like, you know what? I want two girls on my dick at one time. And that's what they're going to give it to I you. Had my nick, can we make and then they're going to be like, okay. But you see the I didn't know you liked that. Okay, me too. You give a guy an inch, he take a yard. Yeah. Well, that's sexist, though. But can't say that just because it's a guy. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Because females do it too. Sometimes they, you know, and, 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 and I won't say a threesome. They will have uh, an orgy or maybe yeah. like a, a, a swingers party or some shit. And I'm only knowing this off of what people tell me. Yeah, we don't, don't really know because we were there. Don't know about this, huh? No, we don't know because we were there. I don't we know nothing about this stuff. So ah, I just tell okay. what, what the, bird, right. the little birdie told me. <laughs> so, you know, what if, what if she was, you know, they switched partners and she smashed the dude and then ran off with the dude later on and, you know, just kind of left her relationship. I mean, that'd be life. You that be life. <laughs> I mean, because you got to figure, like, now I'm out here, I'm doing all these different things. Like, even back home, it's like perceived famous or something like that. It's right. really ridiculous. Right. I'm just out here. You just but famous, like, okay. Yeah, but, like, when you look at it, though, like, people people always want what they can't have. Mm -hmm. And this, right that, and that. third. Well, like, they always you know want somebody I mean? that don't want them. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a lot of the I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, baby, come back. <laughs> but, but, again, it's just communication. 
at the end of the day, like if you sexually active in that way, plus, but side note, Atlanta's outrageous with the HIV. So you better pipe down. Listen, we're not going to get into that because that is going to, we're going to be here forever. That's retarded. With that, with that HIV shit. <laughs> and it's so crazy because you know why? It's the people that you least expect. Exactly. It's out here popping the chair. Like, oh, she and fine. Oh, he's fine. be the bad ones. It do be the bad ones. be the bad ones. You got to watch out. You know why be the bad ones? And they let me, sick. No, no, let me tell you. You know why I be the bad ones? Because, the, okay, the ones that smashing the bad ones think, oh, she's straight because she bad. So I know she ain't fucking around with just every uh, dude. They be th- but them be the hoes that be on shefreaky.com live. <laughs> right. That okay. page. That now, be on that everybody page. that might be on that page, sure. kudos to you. <laughs> I want a free fucking membership so I don't have to go and be a gold member and all to pay $25. Let me see that shit for free, okay? I, I actually like I actually like regular people though. Like I, you like what regular people? Say, oh, what regular people? <laughs> nah, I mean, I, what I mean by that though is like, I mean, I'd rather have a person like I don't really want to see you all thought up. I want to see what I'm gonna get when I wake up in the morning with you, like eye like, and like, all kind of shit. Yeah. Like, like, don't yeah. Really give me the representative, you right? Me straight, you right. feel what I'm saying? Right. I'll be because cool you with you. Heard about that guy that sued his the wife when he woke up in the after he married her because he didn't know who the hell was in his house and she had on all that damn makeup he got scared he, did. <laughs> he sued her he sued her for $15,000 yeah. he got it too he, he, he did, did get it, it. he did get it yeah it is what it is so let me ask you this because we asked you Lola what would you do you know if, if, if the, situ- the shoe was on the other foot where you know what? you wasn't sexually satisfied by your spouse but you love them mm-hmm. you don't want to cheat on them mm-hmm. how would you fix that I would definitely tell them no no you would tell them, right? Okay, so for example. I would tell them, either you're going to have to do something or we're going to break up. What if you had a small dick? I would still tell him, look, I know, <laughs> I, need, I know that you have a small one. And what you can do is if you wind it in a circle and <laughs> give it all you got. Throw dick in a circle. <laughs> but, uh, but here, but here, throw it in a circle and here go the thing, though. as hard as you can. No, no, you no, knew no, before like you got into a relationship no, 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 that no, Buddy right, had a little dick. But you love him and okay. you're trying to make it work. So would it, would it be wrong to say, would it be wrong to slip him extents and tell him was a vitamin so not wrong <laughs> it's so not wrong do it for him do it for him because you're doing him a favor you know what i'm saying what he probably talking about slipping conscious. pills right now i just yeah. want to hey, make sure that we hey, clear this is girl's birth control I and mean, not what's it called but it extends all of his champagne handy he no undies yeah <laughs> listen y'all that niggas are slipping extends Drake oh, Ball has definitely come in here and show out in the boom boom room sure okay he has definitely showed out in the boom boom room but guess what you got a hot song that we about to play don't you yeah definitely. man that's dope okay please introduce the please. song wait before you introduce the song Oh, he wanna rap? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you say you wanna rap? We, awesome, we gotta do a beat. We gotta Let me get beat. you a beat. I don't need no beat. Oh, you acapella? Oh shit! Hold up, we scared of I you, old Taylor. Uh. This is for my Negroes, I'm delayed with my amigos. This time dropping the rhyme and I'm bombing away on your people. This nigga nasty, this nigga sick, nigga. Gotta get my money up, my cash in. I'm in position. What the fuck you talking about? Average, mediocre. Look at all that wax shit. I'm spazzing. I got that Yola. Look at all this crack shit. Whipping the white, gripping the mic. My nigga be dipping the lights and ducking the law. My nigga be hustling hard. My nigga be flipping the right, huh? Pull up. Whoa, oh. hold up, hold up. Is you bust the brother? Wait, hold up. He didn't know we was really. Hold on. Lola, go ahead, man. Bust that verse. Right, you ready? Be a Shit. Go go for it. y'all. Drop the beat. We just beat. kidding, y'all. Go for it. And I, and I need a beat. Give me a beat. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that. I ain't been in a Like I said, I'm from up north, so, you know, lyrics matter. I understand hey. that, you know, people just want to hear regular songs. Yo, you stuff, got a fire extinguisher back here? Does anybody got a fire extinguisher? Anybody? Because we got to put that shit it's out not, there. There's not too many people too that want this work. Exactly. They so, don't want it. You know. You gotta get a new mic because that shit was on fucking fire. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people that want this work, man. I take pride in it. Like I understand. Yeah. Like, the one thing that a little like some of the older people and stuff don't understand is like when the game changes and different type of music comes out, you embrace it. Yeah. You 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 fuck with the people like the same people you see on the way up, you see on the way down. So right. I just do what I do well, and then I infuse it with what's going on. Yeah. That's what's up. That's dope. Hey, one plus one equals two. That's a that's a great. I know that's right. That's a great. I just want to tell you that we really do appreciate you yeah. coming through. Hey to man, the thank y'all for having. We yeah. had an awesome time with we you. We did. It's dope. Y'all you have to have me back. up more, more, more. Yeah, we have <laughs> to. We have to. We have to come back. We we Straight definitely up, have man. to come back because this obviously was your show tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have to come back before <laughs> we we go into your new song. Please let everyone know where they can find you, where they reach you at, okay. where they can hit you up for the hot fire. Yeah. All right. So listen. Um. Instagram. Twitter. At D R E underscore P O W E. Go to my website, DrePoMusic.com. Mm-hmm. My new record, uh, my new project, Pro Life. We out here with these Jones in these streets. Um, 
You can get it on all digital platforms from Spotify to my mixtape, all that, man. We up to okay. 13,000 streams. We rocking and rolling. Can't even help it. Video just came out, man. Fuck with your boy, man. I've whole life my whole life, man. Introduce your video. Tell me your video. Is it a video or a song? No, nah, it's just a song. Introduce your song. Introduce your We're song. off the Pro Life album, man. Dre Poe, run up your thun up, I swear. You better go here, my nigga. Yeah. DJ, what's up, baby? All right.